Hi, everybody. Good evening. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening, Hi, teacher. teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Good. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you all. So let's get ready with the class. I can't ice skate very well. Today we are going to start with section five, which is the last section of the platform. So I hope you are already in section five, right? Este día vamos a iniciar la sección cinco, la cual es la última sección de la plataforma, así que espero que ustedes pues también vayan al mismo ritmo que llevamos aquí. Si usted quiere ir adelante, you are welcome to, o sea, usted puede hacerlo, pero no le es permitido quedarse atrás, right? Ya a estas alturas tenemos que iniciar con la sección 5. So let's check. Before going to the section, all right, we are going to practice our reading skills with this. Antes de ir ya a la sección 5, vamos a hacer como un calentamiento de lo que veíamos el jueves pasado. All right? I hope you remember. So, this is part of, of section 4. All right? Today, we are going to start section 5, as I told you at the beginning of the class. But as a warming up, I was thinking that it was good for you to read this, to have these readings. All right? So, let's check. Let's get started with... Let me check. Vamos a iniciar con Yvette. Yvette, please, can you read the paragraph about Chinese people? Yes, teacher. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are, are round, round foods end and begin again like years. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Yolanda Areli, number two. It is a Jewish. It's, it is a Jewish question to hit apples with honey for a sweet now jar. Right, thank you, Yolanda. Let's go with paragraph number three. And let me check. Felix, can you help me with this one? Drinks, eat basilopita. Uh, teacher, uh, can you repeat uh, that basilopita? Ah, basilopita. Basilo? Mm -hmm. Pita. Si. Okay. Mm -hmm. We eat basilopita varel with a coin sign. Our young tries to find the coin for look and money in the new year. Excellent, thank you, sir. Very good. Now let's go with the next readings. Let me check. Vamos a las siguientes, all right? Esto creo que todavía no los he hecho con ustedes, so I'm gonna make it. Voy a leerlos yo primero. Voy a leer el primer paragraph, luego pongo a uno de ustedes a practicar, luego leo el segundo, and so on. So let's check. In Spain, no, in Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve, drawing one grape for good luck in each month of the year. Esta tradición es bien parecida a la que realizan eh, aquí en El Salvador, right? El, creo que el 20, no, el 31. No sé qué día es que lo hacen de diciembre. All right, the people that celebrate that. Las personas que lo celebran, pues, eh, lo hacen. Creo que es el 31 de diciembre, I think so. All right, a las 12 de la noche se comen las 12 uvas. Entonces, es una tradición bien similar a la de El Salvador. And then we have one year's day. No, perdón. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. And the last one, it says, some Americans from Southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Okay, so let's check. I'm gonna ask 
Jorge Luis Casaneda, can you read the paragraph about Spain, please? Okay. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at, mid at midnight on New, on New Year's. New Year's ever. One grape for good luck in each month of the New Year. Excellent. Repeat after me. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's go with Ernesto Portillo, please. Paragraph number two on New Year's. Okay. On so, New Year's Day in Japan. Uh, people eat much rice cake for for um strength, strength, strength. strings in the Niger. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with the last paragraph, uh, which is going to belong to let me check if we have more students. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to have Moises, can you help me with the last paragraph, please? Yes, I can. Um, so an American from Southern State eat black eyed peas and rice with color greens. The black eyed peas are like coins, coins and the greens are like dollars. Thank you, Moises. Now, everyone, with these readings, it was an opportunity for you to practice your English, right? Con estas lecturas era una oportunidad para que ustedes pudieran practicar su inglés. Lo hicimos el jueves, quizás ustedes lo practicaron durante el fin de semana. Y yo lo recomiendo que mientras no cierre la plataforma, usted siga practicando, right? Léalo, entre más lo lea, más fácil se le va a hacer la pronunciation de, de todo esto, right? So let's check. Last class, we had this structure. Si recuerdan la clase pasada, vimos esta estructura, right? Con esto finalizamos la sección 4, que era la estructura de questions about frequency. Y teníamos que inicia con el auxiliary verb, do or does, plus the subject, plus ever. La palabrita ever es clave en esta estructura. Plus verb, plus complement, plus question mark. So let's listen to Jennifer. Please, can you repeat the structure? Me repite la estructura, please. Um, da, do, does, plus, subject, plus, ever, plus, verb, plus, complement, plus, question. Excellent, thank you. Now, with that being said, habiéndoles dicho esto, que ustedes ya lo repasaron, right? ya lo completaron, Let's go to the practice time. Nos vamos a ir a, nos vamos a, ir a una práctica pequeña, right? Uh, instructions. Vamos a ver. Uh, let me check. Vamos a pedirle a Julio que nos lea las instructions. Word, word individually. Pray two question, question using auxiliary do, does. Com, compare your question with the class. Thank you. Now, what I want you to do, no quiero que me creen solo preguntas así a lo loco, right? No, tiene que ser siguiendo esta estructura. Basada en esta structure, es que ustedes van a hacer sus ejemplos, right? Only two. Solamente dos. So, let's work on it, please. Trabajemos en ello. Teacher, ¿qué significaba ever? Jennifer, what happened? No recuerdo. Hmm, ok, ever es alguna vez. Right? Este tipo de pregunta lo hacemos para preguntar si alguna vez se ha realizado algo. Uh -huh. Hola, buenas noches, Ticha. Eh, vengo ah. llegando. Quisiera saber qué se va a hacer. Te veo que van a hacer una actividad. All right, sí. Eh, Omar, vamos a crear dos preguntas utilizando esta structure. Esta estructura la vimos el, el jueves, Omar, y les mostré los ejemplos. Entonces, ah, okay. lo único que no pudimos hacer fue la práctica. Entonces, ahorita la van a hacer. Ah, ok, ok. Yes, thank you. Por ejemplo, ustedes pueden preguntar como, do you ever eat pizza at night? ¿Alguna vez comes pizza en la noche? 
right? Do you ever drink water while you are eating? ¿Alguna vez tomas agua mientras estás comiendo? Right? You can make all those kind of questions. Pueden hacer todo ese tipo de preguntas.
All right, have you finished or you still need some time? I finished. Great, excellent. I finished. Great, excellent. Now let's check. Let me have, let's get started with Moises, please. Let's check, what do you have? Okay, hey boy, the, the first is, uh, do you ever jumping for the bridge? It's okay. Do you ever jump? Ah, jump. Sí, porque ping están poniendo acá. Okay, yeah, jump. Do you ever jump on the bridge? Ajá. Uh -huh. mm, exactly. uh -huh. For or on? Ah, bridge on the bridge. Bridge se refiere a... Puente. Puente, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Yes, on the bridge. On the bridge, oh, okay. The second is, do you ever go to the park at nine? Very good. Eso está super excelente. Very good, Moises. Okay. Let's go with another one. Es cierto, pueden utilizarlas. No se les olviden que todo el simple present es para actividades que se hacen regularmente, right? Entonces, usted puede decir, do you ever visit a museum? Do you ever go to the movie theater? All right? You can use all that vocabulary. Pueden usar todo ese vocabulary. Let's go with, eh, no sé quién fue la, la otra participante que dijo que ya había terminado. Miss. Yo, teacher. All right, excellent. Jennifer, yo. Ay, miren, siempre les voy a pedir que me digan su nombre, porque como yo estoy bajando a cada rato los cuadros, no me parece quién es la que quiere participar, all right? Okay. So, vamos con Jennifer. Do you ever have a sandwich in the lunch? Ah, excellent. Mm, does Julia ever have a computer in the office? Yes, very good, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Julio y después de Julio, Ernesto. Does, does she ever run in the morning? Uh -huh. and, and do you ever get up grumpy when you get up early? Can you repeat that again, please, Julio? When do you ever get up grumpy? Grumpy? Uh, do you... Pronto, dijo. Gruñón. Ah, grumpy. Yes, yes, it's correct. Grumpy. Do you ever get up grumpy in the morning? Every morning, Julio. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Let's go with Ernesto, please. Okay. Do you ever have yet pizza? Do you ever have pizza? Uh huh. Right, yes. Uh, la otra es, have you ever eaten? Así creo Mire que la estructura, eh. Ernesto. Le pide el have. ¿Qué le pide al principio? Eh, do y dos. ¿Y qué me puso usted? Uh, have. ¿Qué tenemos okay. que cambiar? Ok. <laughs> yes. right, there, you go. there you go. Excellent. Now, yeah, questions we have, it's another type of questions, right? Cuando utilizamos el have, ya es otro grammatical things. So we gotta be careful with that. Let's go with the next one. The siguiente. Jolie. <laughs> very good, Yolanda, very good. Después de Yolanda va Yvette. Anxious. Does she ever go out late for work? Yes, very good. Um, do I have ever wanted to visit England? Do I ever? No, it's a no, my friend. Porque este es como alguna vez. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna change that one, Yolanda, right? Porque esa sí ya sería con have, pero es en otro tiempo gramatical. Right? Mm. Otra estructura gramatical. Yes. So let's try to look for another context. Tratemos de buscar otro contexto, Yolanda. La primera está perfect. Let's go with Yvette. Does, does she ever forget her phone at home? Yeah, very good. Excellent. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to me too. Yeah, it's true. Eh, la otra. Do you ever fall asleep listening to music? Yes, very good, excellent. 
Y este listening que usted me ha puesto no es eh, continuo, o sea, no es una acción continua, sino que es un gerund. Los gerundios eh, se manejan diferente en el español y en inglés, right? Ah, Porque okay. los gerunds usted los puede utilizar en el presente simple. All right. Okay. So that's good. Está correcto, así como lo puso. Now, let's go. Yes, Felix. Hey. Uh, do you ever put a ceremony? Does you ever play in the night? Very good. Excellent. Yes, that's correct. Very good, everyone. Another one. Alguien más? Yo, teacher. Excellent, Rebecca. Do you ever eat soup in the night? And do you ever drink medicine for sleep? Very good. Uh, so lo que ahí sería en vez de drink sería take, Rebeca. Okay, teacher. Sí, porque para las medicinas siempre decimos take. All right. Okay. Thank you. Very good. De ahí todo está perfecto gramaticalmente. Somebody else? Alguien más? Miren que les están saliendo oraciones bien bonitas, everyone. No están repitiendo lo mismo, ni nadie me ha hecho ninguna oración que sea similar. So that's very good. Ajá. What about the other ones? Y me faltan bastantes. Ajá. Yes, Yo, ¿sabes? teacher. Ok. Um, does Ana ever eat mango at night? Yes, very good. Um, do you ever drink chocolate in the lunch? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yes, very good, lady, very good. Excellent. Now, everyone, for the rest that didn't pass in today's class, para el resto que no pudieron participar o no quisieron participar, right? Yo no lo estoy diciendo yo. Okay, yes. ¿Quién quiere participar? Frank. Excellent, Francisco. Let me hear you. Okay. Do you ever work in the rain? Yes, very good. Do you ever room at night? In the noche. Uh -huh. Do you ever run? Uh -huh. Yes. Run. Uh -huh. yes. Very good. It's done. Clever. It's excellent. Let's listen to Miss Benavides. Mrs. Benavides. Uh, do you ever go to sleep early? Do you ever go sleep early? Uh, go sleep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Uh, does he ever buy in the market? Does he ever buy? <laughs> it's correct, Mrs. Benavides. Very good. Excellent. All right, everyone. Congratulations. For the people who passed, excellent. Para los que pasaron, excellent, right? Los felicito. Hicieron oraciones, quizás solo hubieron como dos personas que ahí nos, nos desconcentramos un poquito en una question, pero no es nada que no nos pase a todos, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos aprendiendo. Es algo súper normal. Y los felicito porque siempre elaboran muy bien su trabajo. Si continúan así como grupo y cada uno personalmente, créanme que sí van a lograr su objetivo, right? de aprender inglés, porque son bien ordenados y casi todos han participado. So that's great. Now let's check everybody. Tenía una practice para ustedes, tenía otra práctica con los adverbs of frequency, porque a veces esas prácticas nos ayudan a sacar eh, conocimiento extra, right? Teacher, ¿por qué así se puede utilizar así? Y cuando lo vimos gramaticalmente, usted nos dijo que no, cosas así, right? Se ponen como un reto cuando ustedes hacen una práctica. Pero... Quiero iniciar ya con la sección 5, así que como el día viernes, que es la última sesión, porque recuerden que esta semana, el 2 de noviembre, no lo vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? Right? O sea, no van a venir ustedes a estudiar aquí virtualmente. Entonces, lo vamos a tener que compensar básicamente el viernes, que sería 4 de noviembre, 4th of noviembre, ¿verdad? November 4th. Así que... Ese día haríamos un repaso final de todo. Yo les voy a instar, desde este día les estoy instando a que no se pierdan la clase del viernes, porque de verdad ellos van a terminar de iluminarse muchas cosas del simple present que quizás ustedes no manejaban, right? So let's check. Snapshot. Antes de ver esto, quiero ponerles el vídeo para que escuchemos 
la pronunciation del vocabulary, right? So let's listen to it. Me confirman, please, si se escucha el audio. Solo me dicen yes. Hi, everyone. In this class, yes. we're yes. yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Vocabulary related to popular foods in the U.S. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and coworkers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, everyone, just give me one sec. I want to go back to something. In the winter, people play hockey, all right, yes. Now let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. So we have this. I want to be clear with something. Si ustedes lo van a escuchar en el audio de la persona que iba dando el vocabulary, él dijo winter, all right? That's possible. Si es posible, usted si quiere decir winter, puede decir winter. Si no, puede decir como lo dijo el profesor ya cuando estaba escribiendo, all right? Winter. Ese no es tan usual, all right? Así que si usted quiere decir winter, you're welcome to, all right? So let's check. We have a sports seasons in the US and Canada. Algo que quiero dejarles eh, claro, mis estimados participantes, es que si no tiene la A aquí en US, solamente se dice US, o si usted quiere puede decir United States, pero no me va a decir of America, porque no tiene la A aquí. Si le aparece la A, ahí sí va a decir usted USA o United States of America. Les digo esto porque a veces me dicen USA y aquí no está la A. All right. Entonces, we gotta be a little bit, and we need to pay a little bit of attention in here. So let's go. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skin, skin, all right? So let's check. Let's go with, vamos a iniciar con Julio Guillón, please. Can you give me the vocabulary? Después de Julio iría Omar Chacón. Sport season in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play basketball, baseball, play tennis, play Volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go by reading, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. 
Very good, excellent. Now, let's go with Omar, please. Sports season in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skiing, go skiing, to skiing. Very good, skin. Very good. Let's go with Jessica Hernandez. Después de Jessica Hernandez, iría Yvette Aguirre. Okay. Sports season in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go by reading, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Very good, excellent. Action, Ivette. Sport season in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hike, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Very good, thank you. Let's go with, now we're going to, we are going to have, let me check. Sandra Rios, please. After Sandra, Rebecca de Benavides. Okay. Sports season in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go by riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Very good, excellent. Let's go with Rebecca. Después de Rebecca, iría Ernesto Portillo. Sport season in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play so play golf, golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding go hiking in the winter people play hockey play basketball go ice uh, ice, ice skating. skating ice skating go skiing okay very good repeat after me R riding riding go bike riding Go bike riding. Excellent, thank you. Let's go, Ernesto. Sports season in the US in Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fight, people play uh, football, good ride, good, uh, good ride. Go by riding. Go by riding, go riding. Uh, in the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play uh, volleyball, 
go swimming in the winter people uh, play hockey play basketball go in uh, skating go ice skating and go on sticking skiing skiing very good go thank you Okay. Let's go with Josué Granados. After Josué Granados, eh, Francisco Martínez. Okay, export season in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, play go as well. In the fall, people play football, go by the Friday, go hiding. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice, skate, go ski. Very good, excellent. Repeat after me. Go swimming. Go swimming. Excellent, thank you. Action to Francisco. Sports season in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, in the fall, people play football, go bike running. Go hiking. Go hiking. Hiking. Thank you. In the winter, people play hockey, play baseball, go ice skiing, go skiing. Very good, excellent. Now, everyone, because I know that I'm missing some of you, sé que algunos de ustedes me hacen falta, así que ahora lo vamos a dividir en dos, right? El vocabulary. Vamos a tener a Félix Sánchez. Para spring and fall, y Andrea Solorzano para summer and winter. Action, Felix. Felix. A sport season in the US and in Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. Uh, and the summer, people. No, play usted le tocaría in, in the fall. Ah, oh, pero. Solo in, in spring and fall. Okay. Uh, in the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Action, Andrea. Okay. Um, in the summer, people play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, ski, 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 skating, skating, go skating. Very good, excellent. Let's have, a, let me check. Yolanda Flores, you are going to be a spring and fall. And Moises, you haven't participated, right, Moises? Todavía no participa usted, ¿verdad? O ya participó. No, no ha participado. Okay. Entonces usted sería summer and winter. Ok. Sports in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go, go by riding, go hiking. 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 Excellent. Action, In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Excellent. Now, the last pair is going to be in Mr. Castanea. All right, you are going to be a spring and fall. Jorge, usted va a ser spring and fall. 
Y Rebeca sería summer and winter action. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Very good, excellent. Thank you to everyone. Listen up. It's highly important for you to listen once and one, all right? more than once the pronunciation of these words. No crean que los pongo a practicar a todos solo porque sí, all right? El propósito es que usted preste atención a la pronunciación de este vocabulary para que le sea más fácil. Así el día de mañana usted no me va a decir go bike reading porque reading es una estrategia, es leer, all right? A diferencia de writing que significa montar. Entonces, cuando usted practica más su pronunciation, Es más sencillo que se le quede en el, en el cerebro, right? The pronunciation. So let's move on. Guiding examples. Let's see. I'm going to read them first and then you go. Les voy a leer yo primero y después van ustedes. Number one. In the spring, Mary plays soccer. In summer, my parents go swimming. In the fall, Matthias goes bike riding. In the winter, I play basketball. Ahí en el número dos me hizo falta el definite article, right? El da. All right, so there you go. Now, let's listen to Felix. Read number one and number two. And Rebecca de Benavides, three and four. Okay. In the spring, Mary plays soccer. In the summer, my parents go swimming. In the fall, Matthias goes by reading. In the winter, winter, I play basketball. Repeat after me, Rebecca. Riding, bike riding. Bike riding. Excelente. <laughs> bike riding. Don't worry, no se preocupe, a todos nos pasa, right? Como reading y riding se parecen. Right? Uh -huh. so, yes, don't worry, no se preocupe. Now everyone, there you go. Aquí lo tiene. Estos son los ejemplos que yo trato de brindarles siempre que ustedes van a empezar a utilizar estructuras. Now let's check the practicing. Ya se los voy a poner de regreso por si los estaban copiando. Pero es importante que veamos las instructions. Practice time. Let me see. Jessica Hernández, read instruction number one and two. And Sandra Ríos, instruction number three. Okay, practice time. Work individually. 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 Create at least four center with the vocabulary learning. Thank you, Jessica. Let's go, Sandrita, with number three. Compare your sentences with the class. Repeat after me. Compare. Com Perdón? Compare. Compare. Excellent. Very good. La felicito porque aquí me dijo sentences. Y usualmente siempre me dicen sentence, pero aquí dijo usted correctamente sentences. Thanks. Welcome. Now, everyone, let's check this. No me van a crear cuatro, right? Porque eso sería mucho tiempo. So, Quiero que creen dos, nada más. Usted decida si quiere utilizar winter, si quiere utilizar spring, fall, uh, summer, right? You decide. Usted decide, pero solamente dos. Y sí le voy a pedir que al menos en una de esas dos utilice la tercera persona para ver si no se nos ha olvidado cómo usarla, ¿ok? Les voy a poner por aquí los guiding examples.
Okay, one more minute and we're going to start listening to the volunteers, all right? I finish. Great. Okay, let's just wait one more minute. Okay, now let's get started. I think that, uh, yes, Ernesto has her raised, her hand raised. After okay. Ernesto is going to be Moses. A ver si me salen buena. <laughs> In the mornings, we go raining. Así es la palabra, raining. Uh -huh, we go raining. Ah, okay. Uh, they play a lot of basketball. Yes, mire Ernesto, están correctísimas gramaticalmente, pero ¿a dónde me dejó la, la temporada? Ah, también hay que perdón de meter la temporada. Yes, okay. por ejemplo, okay. puede poner eso, in the spring I go running, all right? Uh, uh -huh. Just okay. need to add it, pero gramaticalmente están perfect, Ernesto, all right? Okay, gracias. All right, welcome, let's go Moises. ¿O no era Moisés el que dijo que había terminado? Voy, 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 sí, sí. Right. Perdón, no me no, había fijado que había... No, sí. In the spring, my friends and I play soccer on Sunday. Uh -huh. In the summer, my brother go to the gym. Mm. My brother go, my brother goes. Okay, Moises, that's your homework, right? My brother goes. Y a la otra agregue le Sundays. Porque no es solo un domingo. Me imagino que van todos los domingos. Sí, Sundays, puse, puse Sundays. Okay. Tapas, no, 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 leí la S. Okay, there you go. Very good, excellent. Yo, teacher. Yes, Felix, action. Okay. In the winter, my daughter cannot play basketball. In the summer, I play a lot of soccer. Yes, very good. Excellent, sir. Right? Another one, Rebecca, action. In the summer, my son play, play volleyball. Mm -hmm. In the fall, Rosa goes hiking. Right, my son play or plays? Eh, con la es. <laughs> yes, Play. exactly. Play. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, don't worry. Por eso les pregunto, porque saben que en realidad yo estaba haciendo eh, como un chequeo general, right? De cómo hablamos los salvadoreños el español. Y la mayoría de veces nos comemos las S que son en plural. En vez de decir nosotros, decimos nosotros. All right, so it happens. Así que si nos pasa nuestra lengua nativa, ¿cómo no nos va a pasar en el inglés, right? Que no es nuestra native language, que no es nuestra lengua nativa. Así que ahí tenemos que llevar ese control, right? De pronunciarlo, porque si no nos va a afectar. Now, let's go with another one. ¿Alguien más? Julio. Yes, action. In the summer, my sister goes swimming. Mm -hmm. In the winter, my brother-in-law plays basketball. Love or loves? Brother in love plays basketball. Ah, plays. Okay, very good. Very good, excellent, sir. I hear you love. Let's go with another one. Yo, teacher. Excellent, Rebecca. Action. In the summer, my sister plays tennis. Mm -hmm. In the fall, Carlos plays football. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Another one. Yo, teacher. Excellent, Mr. Chacon. Action. In the fall, I go bike riding. Uh -huh. In the summer, my father plays tennis with his friends. Very good, everybody. Excelente. 
los que llevamos ahorita, las personas que han participado, me gusta que se dieron cuenta qué verbo tenían cada uno de los deportes y de ese es que han hecho uso, right? No se lo han inventado, no me han dicho eh, play swimming, right? No los han mezclado, sino que se guiaron con los examples y con el vocabulary lo han hecho. Fantástico, very good. Another one, ¿alguien más? Yo, teacher. Excellent. In the summer, Jose plays tennis in the morning. In the spring, my father plays golf with me. Very good, excellent, great job. Somebody else? I'm willing to hear you, y'all, right? Yo, teacher. Excellent, Marisol, very good. In the fall, my brother played football. Mm -hmm. In the summer, he goes to the park with his little girl. All right, very good. Yes, Marisol, excellent. Thank you. I think Sandra wants to participate. Action, Sandra. Okay. In the winter, Charlie plays basketball. In the fall, my son and I go by riding. Uh -huh, let's go bike riding. Very good. Excellent. Now, let's check somebody else. Los demás, ¿qué les pasa? Why don't you participate? Excellent, Yvette. Let me hear you. In the summer, Sarah goes swimming. In the fall, George plays football in the park. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Now, everyone, I encourage you, all right? to create your sentences, right? No vean el tiempo que se les da para que usted crea en sus oraciones. No vean el tiempo que se les da como, ah, X, no la voy a hacer. Háganlas, right? Los que han participado, los felicito. Miren qué lindas oraciones han hecho y gramaticalmente correctas. Vamos con el último que sería Josué Granados. In the summer, I play basketball. In the winter, I play football. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Now, great job, everyone. That's amazing. El primer paso para empezar a crear párrafos es saber crear sentences. Y si usted lo está manejando ahorita, si de bien cómo lo está haciendo, very good. Ya lleva un buen punto, right? Now, everyone, before we finish the class, I just want to, I just wanted to remind you to practice on the platform. Antes de decidirme, solo quiero recordarles que por favor practiquen en la plataforma, right? Ya ahorita llevamos como la sección 1, la parte 1, creo, de la plataforma, right? La sección 5, perdón, la parte 1 de la sección 5. Así que usted ya puede empezar a trabajar en ella. Usted puede adelantar lo que desee. Recuerde, mañana, mañana, tenemos mañana. Y el jueves, creo, para terminar de ver la plataforma con el examen. Así que, please work on it. Así que, por favor, trabaje en ella. All right, everyone. It, it has been a pleasure to be here with you. Ha sido un placer estar con ustedes. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.